school as a safe is like a temple or the mecca of knowledge for an Indian girl or boy of less than 19 years of age. However, after school, can we still be as productive as we were in the early hours of the morning? Also in the context of the various coaching institutes we attend, how will we get the requisite time possible? Hey guys, what's up? Devan Mitra here. Welcome back to Poston Panda. And as you might know, I've secured an AIR of 165 in NIT 2021-374 in KPYSX, 2993 in JEMAIN 2021, and 9739 in JE Advanced 2021. So today we are going to talk about how students are going to adjust to schools that will soon reopen since the number of COVID cases have decreased. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Before you start watching this video, I want you to watch this video which is linked somewhere here or here before you come and watch this video because there I have discussed about how a student during the COVID pandemic time can manage both his coaching institutes and his online school. So there are only very few points that I have to discuss in today's video and most of the things that I have already said in the previous video are also applicable here including in the weekdays and the weekends. So the first point that I want to undermine here is that school in general should be taken seriously. Break time in school should be taken as break time only and not as study time where you simply start reading or doing some MCQs because that time will be a break time means you will take some time off from your studies and you will focus on your leisure time because your brain needs to have some sort of entertainment by which it can function effectively throughout the day. The free periods that you get in school should not be utilized for reading anything up as it is more often than not that some of the other of your classmates or friends will try to disturb you and will try their best not to allow you to read. A much more productive option here is for new students either to get their MCQ book of biology and for JE students to get their book of chemistry or if you are not a neat a JE aspirant then take some book which is a sort of questionnaire so that you can solve those questions during the free period and you are being productive and at the same time you are not getting disturbed so much because since you are only actively doing some questions so you don't have to recall and even if your friends disturb you you have again another new question which you can look at suppose you have your school till say 2 pm you will be reaching home by say your private car or by your carpool at 3.30 then the best thing I think is to go and have a bath refresh yourself and take some time off before if you are a weekday institute goer you go and attend your coaching classes if you are a weekday institute goer at least 6 to 7 hours of sleep at night is absolutely essential to keep yourself functioning at that optimum level or even if not an optimum level at a particular level that you have set yourself otherwise you will feel drowsy and disgruntled and your brain will be absolutely non-cooperative absolutely unwilling to help you on any type of serious work that you have decided to undergo and if you are a weekend institute goer then you might follow the same schedule as I have reiterated in the earlier video by coming back from school and then taking a one hour nap after you have undertaken your bath and lunch and everything and then starting on your Pomodoro sessions of study if you like this video and want to see more type of this content on this channel then please consider subscribing to the channel like this video and share it with as many people and on as many platforms as you can do. If you want some general tips on productivity, then I have set up a link here or here where you can find it. Or if you want to bust some common myths regarding to Indian UG entrance examinations, then I have also linked this up here or here. So make sure to check this video out and till then, meet you next Sunday with my next video. Adios amigo and peace out. Special guest visitor here, this is my mother Rituporna Mitro and she is my personal mentor and guide throughout this past two years and she has my pillar of support and success forever and whatever I have done in my life along with my father is due to her.